my name is Miss Batia, and I'm the branch supervisor of the Putterham location of the Public Library of Brookline. Uh, the scary story I'm going to be telling today is called The Fortunate Traveler. Uh, this is based off of a traditional Jewish folktale, um, and I've kind of rewritten it a little bit. Uh, so here it is. Once upon a time, quite long ago, there was a traveling merchant. This merchant, like many who came before him, and many who would come after, would travel from city to city selling his wares to the residents of the city, town, or village. In many places, news of his arrival preceded him, and the residents gathered around his cart with words of welcome and open wallets. These were good days. Often on these good visits, when he got the chance, he would seek shelter in the various towns stay a few days, replenish his supplies, and move on to the next town. On his journey, he would bring with him a donkey to carry his wares, and a meager uh, his wares and meager supplies, a lantern to light his way, and a rooster to wake him up early in the morning to start his travels. Sometimes he wasn't so lucky. Sometimes the town or village was too small, and there was no place for him to stay. Sometimes the residents, mistrusting of strangers, would run him out of town. On those days, he would make camp in a field or the forest. It was one such day when the traveling merchant entered a small village and introduced himself to the residents. He sought out the head of the village and asked for shelter for the night. The head of the village yelled at him, slammed the door in his face, and he was forced to move on. By this point, it was getting quite late, and the sky began to darken. Rain clouds moved in. A storm was rolling in. The weather was threatening. The merchant knew he couldn't make it to the next village before the storm came, so he walked along the road until he found a safe area to build a shelter for the night. Just as he was finished, the skies opened up and it began to rain heavily. It rained so hard his lantern went out and he couldn't build a fire because all the wood he gathered was soaking wet. Sometime that night a fox came into his camp and stole the rooster away. Yet later that night, a mountain lion came across his donkey and mauled it to death. The sound so horrifying, so soul-crushing, all the merchant could do was crouch in his makeshift shelter, hugging himself petrified with fear and silently weeping lest the mountain lion hear him and come into the shelter to investigate. The night felt endless and daybreak too far away. The next morning, the merchant gathered what he could in his small pack and made his way to the next village. When he arrived and the townspeople heard what happened to him and from which direction he had come from, they exclaimed how truly lucky he was. As news had gotten to them that shortly after he was run out of the previous town, a group of marauding thieves had entered the town and set fire to all the buildings, and the village that he had just visited was no more.